I just shut up about it. I think we, the 150 would be better, a little bit bigger. And uh, what do you say? Yeah. That's what happens when you hit a manhole cover that yeah. you know that's there. I've always liked this idea. I bet you drive like a Massey, don't you? That's a big old Mikhail Sands. We are looking for the ginger guys. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring little bell, you get notifications. This guy's video is going to be Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes Sundays. Hey, he knows. I'm very surprised <laughs> at that. Um, so today we are at the Lama Festival. We did a little bit yesterday. That is an ex expensive load is this the show that is sponsored by land rover park next to isuzu park next to a nissan park next to a ford pickup trucks we are meant to be at the cramp stand at two o'clock this morning i was at the accountants with my sister it's very exciting and it is currently seven minutes past two so i'm late so i've got a text message from someone saying there's a big queue at the cramp stand as well and we've got today's video up. Yeah, a little bit stressed but it's all good fine i think it's around the corner on the right so we're not far farm i just balance it on random things and hope for the best and that's how it before gets into the feeder and just like die still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts tired of staring out the window eating too much drinking too much tired of watching the grass grow channel two channel three back to channel two i watched everything in my queue so put me on a train i don't care where it's going there That's pretty cool. Zero grazer. Nice. Cooks. All about the roof sheets. I know, like, we're the only ones at Lama looking at roof sheets and cows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still. That's when you start. Still Smash that. <laughs> Are these all mine? Yeah. Yeah. I was so confused. I know. <laughs> so we're at the farmer's guardian stand and there is a competition how many tickets tokens money money yeah. how many monies you can get yep. you always think well, he can beat me you to say you've been to say hello to us of course we can. thank you do we know how many i got so the ultimate score is this one two one well that's the score at the moment we've got tomorrow to go well, that's and, what was left I, and by the way i went on 24 seconds, the shoes yeah. on first. It's proper Everything serious. Right, right. Everything's out of my pocket. What are we on? 116. 116. Oh, I thought you said 160. I was like, ah! No worries. Oh, man. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So, I, would it be easier if you count the ones that yeah, you don't yeah. have? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen this? Tension's rising. Here we go. 166. 166! No way! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's a new top score. So, yeah, I got 116, and uh, you only got 161? No, 166. It's a joke. <laughs> I feel like the counting wasn't 100. <laughs> the boys, Farmer Phil and Father Phil, are here at Lammer all the way from Ireland. Good show. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Some bits of kiss. Some, Some bits of kiss. Is that just in the you big fan that we were just playing about? <laughs> we defeated him with a bit of party, didn't we? <laughs> Obviously, Farmer Phil does YouTube. You can go check it out. This is his link. Go see him. Guys in Ireland doing amazing things. Beef and you do tillage Beef, as well, tillage, contracting, contracting, vintage machinery. Lots of vintage. <laughs> lots of rooting. <laughs> lots of vintage. <laughs> you did maize this year? We did maize, yeah, yeah, yeah. Covered yeah. and uncovered. What's the best? Uh, I said the uncovered the uncover, done. but it was a bit late for harvest. Yeah, right, so it was getting a bit we, we, we didn't get it in no, in we're time. Fine. Fact, we're right? we probably was sort of a bit late. Yeah. We had demo machinery in, you know. Yeah, it was juggling, trying to get the harvest date, and the weather just didn't play ball for us, but. All on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Everything going on, proper farmers, kind of like us, maybe on a bigger scale. Uh, but yeah, go check them out. We've just finished the HDB thing. I actually think it went down pretty well. I think it was a lot more uh, user friendly or visible friendly, I think. I don't know about you. Relaxed, wasn't it? It was relaxed. It was good. Mr. B and Joe have been very kind because we're actually staying in the Hilton. And the problem with that is, I didn't know that, and then I left my car in the car park, and I really hope we go. I'm not paid for parking. I'd just like to point as well, your car might be outside and it's raining, and we're not dressed. No, no jackets. No I've got jackets. no shoes. But for a change, I am. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no jobs, got no money. Our pets' heads are falling off. Name that film. Anyone know that film? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't listening, sorry. Well, Answer in the comments below. All right, we'll try and get out of here. We got no food, we got no jobs. Our pet's heads are falling off! And we are back for day two. Today we're seeing the ginger guy and we're gonna have a look around the show properly, see what's going on, see what's new. 
not looking at anything in particular this time and hopefully not going to spend any money like we did last time but that could change so Johan is saying that he doesn't know if he likes these vultures yeah I don't know you are completely and utterly wrong like, look at the shape look at the nose <laughs> look at it so oh. Tom's just about oh. to sorry. <laughs> sorry look at these how can you not like that this is sexy no comment <laughs> <laughs> he's a, uh, a Deutz man Deutz Deutz is awesome. look at that yeah, so this fen, genuinely, when me, Red, and the other Ollie came to do Canham Stand, I think it was like four years ago, five years ago, this was here, but this hasn't moved. Is it not? This is in the same place it was for the last four years. I think we get in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the story of my life, that is. <laughs> Just leave it here. Johan loves this. I do, Alpago. Alpago. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mate, this is big. This is bigger than yours, isn't it? Well, twice the size of mine. <laughs> what, are you on 170? Yeah. 280. They do look well, don't they? So we're looking at the um, Deutz. We'll tell you about tractors, but obviously we've got a lot of developments going, so that's why we're not really in the spending mood. But it's interesting looking. The 135 that we've got at the moment, Hurleyman, it's kind of the same family, the SDF family. And I just said to Dad, I think we, the 150 would be better, a little bit bigger. And uh, what do you say? Yeah, uh, I totally agree. Unfortunately, I think the 135 is possibly, you may disagree, that it's limited. I think this might have a bit more grunt to it. A bit more, more power. More yeah, power. Yeah. With the lower down. Power and Lower no, down, yeah. and that's where you want it. You don't want it very, very, very. And yes, 135 would do everything we want to do, yes, but it'd be on the limit to a degree, you know what I mean? The 150 fun. might just be that little but, bit better. But, and unfortunately, even though we did a fuel test on it, I don't think we did it proper because we both didn't check each other how much we filled them. Used a fair bit of fuel that 135, where something like this is on top of its job all the time, especially if you start playing with front mowers and things yeah, like that. True. You, you need it, yeah. In the long days, you burn all the fuel. So it's the 150 again. Again, it's the Hurleyman, you can have it in whichever colour you want. The Hurleyman, the biggest machine is the 135, yes. so if we wanted to go 150, we'd have to go for the Deutsch family. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> then again, you could buy a lovely second hand one with, uh, without a blue. I'll get in, he won't get out. No, it's one step to many, two steps to many. Oh. So this one gives you two manual, two electric spools on this model. Yeah. yeah. And you can have four. Well, three, you can have three, three manuals. Three manuals, yeah, the one electric, electric, if you like. Yeah. yeah I, so I was very much an electric kind of spool kind of guy and then changed to when we put when we had this, yes. had the manuals. Yeah. Manuals are the dream. That's just so everybody good. couldn't handle them. Oh yeah. The so benefit of the electrical is you can alter the flow easier and yes. yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it all on the screens, can't you? But manuals. Yeah. Love it. You know, you want to get out, put everything out of gear, you just go like that and then jump out. Oh yeah. my Massies are offering 0% finance. Are they? Yeah, for four years, aren't they? Yeah. On everything they've got in stock. On everything they've got in stock. I don't know. Ah. They've got lots in stock to say. We'll do you we'll do you something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's always a deal. Do you reckon that's bigger than ours? Straight away, that will end up being fed. <laughs> and then when it's fed, a bit like Ollie's uh, uh, head of it, it won't work. Yeah, but just think how much grub you could get in. You, could only, you only have to fill it once. You're only have to fill it with Are you alright? I'm alright, you need yeah. He's right. complaining about the size of it. Yeah, we do bigger. <laughs> we, do, we do bigger, I don't need bigger. You need a tractor that's got an oil pump. That's the thing as well, yeah, you need a big tractor to pull the gear. You need an old compact shift from it, new gearbox. <laughs> oh! New gearboxes! Yes. Saying that you don't need as much power. We've just replaced our feeder. Yeah, I did. I'll try to get Mr. Bullock to come and see you again. <laughs> the big thing we I heard about tub feeders is the gearbox go knackered on them. That's right. Well, you're saying this one won't go knackered. Yes, yeah, so we have an independently mounted um, auger. So, 80mm drive shaft on the top bearing. Any side would load it, just be down through the turret yeah. into the chassis rather than into the gearbox. And with this bolt here, we pull the whole shaft away from the gearbox. We have tolerances as well here. So, stops any pressure going into that top bearing. Yeah, That's yeah. what we're trying to do with our big heavy 22 mil auger, 22 mil flighting. That's the twin tips, so two equal distribution wings. So it's always a consistent feed out, you don't get any lumping effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really important. Horizontal knives, equal consistent chopping. Because you can difference. put a big bale in these, can't you? Yeah. You can't put a big yeah. bale in. And is this like the smallest one you do this year? So we go from five cube to 52 cube. Wow. It's a huge, huge difference. <laughs> What's that one? That one's 28 kilos. Hey, look at this. Imagine, when you bend something, you can bend it back. Just wants bolting too proper. <laughs> yeah, that's putting a lot of, um, no, it's putting a lot of hope in that, you know, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Look at that. Imagine, why would you not finish that off? Is that just a dim question? So if they break it, they can replace it without taking the... 
take that bolt off, it's clever that. We were just I saying, like um, Dad wants an electric gate in front of his drive, where the main drive is a farmhouse, and then looking at the prices of it. Double hinge and a movable, or one that goes in and out. Seven and a half grand to eight grand plus fat. And Dad, what were you saying? Uh, I go out with your mother and she opens the gate for me. <laughs> so if it rains, she can get away. If it, well, she's not used to nipping in and out quite yeah. quickly now. For eight grand, you yeah. can get out. For eight grand, she can have another hairdo. Lucy wanted a picture with the ginger guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the farming life, when Mark gets a mention, all the ideas. It's like a showroom one. for machinery. We just walked past a grass harrow. And what were you saying? I personally, in my opinion, I think it's the best grassland machine you can buy for the back of your tractor. We love a spring harrow, don't we? I think they're, they're better than the chain harrows. So yeah, they can do a lot with those. But you remember that time when we leveled that ground out? You said he wouldn't do it. You know, you said yeah. he did. They're That's all the same, aren't they, to a degree? Yeah. Well, they are, but Brown, Brock gets big. Yeah. Yeah. the same. But this is, this is what was the strength there. That's where they start to grow. Yeah. And also, the thing being... How, how easy they are to change yeah. these yeah that seems a bit but how easy are they to bounce out yeah yes they are and if that it becomes an issue you just want to tie up on everyone like so those spring hours that we saw six, six meters was eight and a half grand for 12 meters do you know how much that was uh, that, that was, was Nineteen thousand. that was over 12 that was some... that one that was there was 12 meters yeah yeah, oh. yeah. 19 19 000 for spring harrows <laughs> trailers is that hey do you have a good dumping trailer i'd love a good dumping trailer that doesn't have holes in it That'd be the dream. I'm the one that has a shoe. Yeah, yeah, it's weeding. And it's amazing when it stops when there's not, when there's not one, it stops. But look, can you see on the screen? If it's a blue cross, it'll do it. And if there's a gap, it goes green, it misses it. Now that is cool technology. Marshall trailers, can't be a good old Marshall. I like that they brought the smaller one as well. Yes, Marshall. Bonus points. Slurry cat. Galvanised, everyone said I should have got mine galvanised, maybe I should have double bar on the back end. Am I being daft, but how does that work? You again? Oh. Me again? You alright? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Anyone's in the farming can videos, this is top video videographer, if I get my words out. How does this work? How? Am I being daft? <laughs> what does this do? Am I being am I being daft here? Yeah. What does this do? How does this work? How's my brain not like the work? Is that not got a valve in there? Yeah, but what is that just a random pipe? That's not doing anything, is it? no. The point is, I don't think I think that's just there just to look pretty. We've gone to Lamo, which is the biggest machinery show in the UK, and obviously we're livestock farmers, so we come to cattle crushers. <laughs> obviously we got our gates from Bateman. Uh, we got a crush which is a Araquip crush which is is class. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Chris, it's class. Oh, our crush is fantastic. But Bateman made all our gates for our sheds and um, for the parlour and little bits we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do a segregation gate at the moment. I might do one in the future. But the gates that we make. I was just speaking we were just speaking to me and Dad and Chris were speaking and they're so strongly made. Yeah. They're well, made to last, they're class. <laughs> what I like about them, the box section is supposed to be a little bit bigger than some people yeah. need. It, it, it's just as and also the, the width of it, the depth of it yeah, yeah. each side. And also the finish, in all fairness, is I don't know who does your galvanise yeah, We use Joseph Ash and Telford. But so, right, yeah, we have very well galvanised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just gives that shine to the yard and it yeah. gives the brightness Good. over and above a dull looking <laughs> yeah. gate. It, it sounds daft to get excited about gates, but there's a difference between a good gate and a bad one, believe me. If you crash in, you can crash into a, a good gate a few times it'll stand it a bad one once it's dead bail baron they're pretty cool so it's a little bale and it wraps it into 21 it's a very good piece of kit hello yeah right? i have a photo yeah yeah no problem manatee stan george saunders and mr lord muck over there <laughs> manatee stand again they've actually made a bit of a bench which is quite cool do you think that looks like merlot a little bit oh thank you very much oh hey Say that YouTube friend. Just trying to get it. Social media friend. Just on his bench, it's like, yeah. hi, hi, hi Tom, it's yeah. so nice to see you in this yeah. massive bucket. Yeah, I can't believe my name's Ali Hunter Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Link's in description. Uh, Do you not know, think this looks like. Just scan the barcode. <laughs> I don't think that looks like Merlot. The new ag. Well, just, I can't read very just, well. So. <laughs> I thought it looked like Merlot. Yeah. It's like bucket, isn't it? It'll go on your man, it's real nice. Oh, yeah, I can't put anything in it, but it'll go in, on it. <laughs> the, the only thing with a new machine, like mine, I can run it and run it and Run it, it'll never cut out. And the new machines, if you put them to the limit, oh, yeah, yeah, no, the, the new low sensor, <laughs> and you wouldn't want to Gross. scratch it. 
There is that. And I, I kind of and this one is know a how... In your shed. This is a good machine, just use bigger tyres. The Mini Manitou. You want to get the electric one? Uh, yeah, we looked at this one last year. Have they made it any better? Apparently it'll do eight hours. What so I'm told it'll do eight hours work before it's it needs recharging. It's right, isn't it? It's you'll do eight hours. hours a day? No. Like maybe two on days on a on year on on if on you're doing some straw or hay or whatever. But for the power you'd save, we're putting a load of solar, solar panels up at home. Like a lot. Are you? Yeah, yeah. So charge it in, free power. I wish you'd shut up about your solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> you batteries? Batteries Yo, as well? No batteries. No, we will stop everything. Oh, will you? Yeah, yeah. So, Johan has a problem with his. He can't put any more on. And but So, you've got 30 kilowatts. 34 kilowatts of solar panels. And you use... 140 a day. Yeah, and they won't let him put any more on, just in case. I export more than 30 kilowatts, and I'm yet to export any <laughs> in three years. And we're putting on 94 kilowatts. I just shut up about it! <laughs> So another set of uh, spring hinds. I think spring hinds, spring tines, and it's got the cedar on the top, which I've always liked this idea of a cedar. Always liked it. He's over there. He's trying to find the rep. And my dad was mad keen. I was like, oh, we, we look at this every year. I wanted one. I thought it'd be great. Oh, he's there. You going for it? Uh, well, we're, we're going to discuss a <laughs> balance between, you know, total royalties for everyone they sell. Yeah. Or they're going to give us a flat rate. Is yeah. that right? So can we get 10% off? Yeah, everyone once who you mentions bought Tom one Pemberton. and start selling them, the commission's quite good. <laughs> How much it is yet? So 10% off 100,000. It's quite good. <laughs> Touche. Right, well played, my sir. Well, I'll pay you twice as long as it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what we're actually doing is looking at getting one of those spring, spring time with a drill in it, that cedar. That's how it was cedar. It is. And uh, just like that, but smaller. Just like that, but smaller. But yeah, the one that was over there, um, every year we all look at it. I always think it's a great idea. And this year is, uh, we're actually going to go and get one on demo. So that's pretty cool, something to do in spring. So yeah, I think they're great, but it's just spending the money. Suzuki, that's a cool stand, isn't it? I quite like that. A bit of rustic. 10 out of 10 for Suzuki. Case. Not a big fan of cases, do you? Uh, no. I like a case. I have ne I've never given them a real chance. Look at this, that's a tattoo. Where did you get it? <laughs> AGM Blackpool. Oh man, that's my. That's where I live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is commitment. I bet you drive like a Massey, don't you? <laughs> no. Hey, <laughs> what? You don't like them. Uh, no, oh, no, I think they are sexy AF. Look at that. Oh. What, how many steps? It's five. Dad's never buying this. <laughs> is that? Yeah, five. I think there's three steps too many. I very much like the interior. Um, this is giving me Rolls Royce vibes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is giving me that cow muck would probably not go well with this. No, 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 no. Imagine this map with my wellies would not work. Are you a leggings off or leggings on man when you get in? So do you pull your leggings around your ankles? What, or what you... in the tractor? Yeah. No chance to keep them on. Ah, oh, you are not getting a tractor like this then, because that is you have to keep this clean. Am I, am I tanking? I'm jumping in and out, in and out. Do you think I'm dropping me leggings? But I've got a nice big brace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so much better. What the hell is that machine? Something new with vegetables. Yeah, it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be veggies, isn't it? I think it's planting, isn't it? And obviously we... Back at the Malone. I think they do a bigger one than the 320. No, we are, we're not on a 320. I think we're, on, we're on the 3000. No way. So we're just at the Malone stand. And I thought, is this what we broke? <laughs> and then this is what I broke. This got broken on Living Hall. <laughs> Living Hall, um, Bill, did you get yourself in it? <laughs> that's what happens when you hit a manhole cover that yeah. you know that's there. Yeah, so stupid, that one, it? Especially when you talk to that 20 clear, yards well. off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We've got the MP, is it three, three, This one here, 3,000. Yeah. But now you're on a 340. Yeah, yeah, So what's yeah. just an extra 0.4 meters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Simon. you showcase piece? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. believe this is here. Wait, so we need to be a Tom. We need to be instead of Tom Pimpton's. <laughs> should we have to do that, should you? No, should we solid? <laughs> Thomas. Yeah, I'm a good tester. My dad was saying they brought actually a bigger mower out. So if we get a bigger tractor, bigger mower, whoop, whoop, more things to hit faster. <laughs> so how much weight, how much more weight's in it? No? Where the weight is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 the, it's the same headstock on it, Andrew. It's just yeah. that it's longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have built that for this, if you know what I'm saying. So. It's a good idea as well. Blade box. Well, there's quick fit blades on them, Tom. I know you love them. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah, look at that. That's a good idea. We don't have that. The front here. It's quick fit blades. Fergal's back. Yeah, we're just looking at... Um, this, this is a bigger one. So we've got the 3,000, this is 3,400. 
is they've got the protection around the side, just in case you hit anything. There. Does that come up then? Oh, nice. If this one as well here, it shows the level of the bed on the ground. Oh, okay, cool. So like if you were if you were mowing at four degrees or three degrees, next time you go mowing, if I put it, that's you're happy with that height. Good mower. Yeah, I love our mower. mower. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, man. I like the mower. Mikhail, four ninety. So I think we have the. 470, so this is ours. Ours only has two buttons here. This has three, he's got two beds. Oh, wow. That's so long. That's what she said. <laughs> so I've left Dad. He's going to talk fertilizer. Fertilizer price has gone down on it. Yeah, it's going down every time we talk. Depends what you buy. Can you, what's the predictions then? Do you reckon it's going to go down again? We don't know. No one knows. If I had a crystal ball, I'd be rich. Bateman. Logos. Absolutely loves it, doesn't he? Booms. We all have things that we're excited about. And at the moment, we're at a big machinery show, pressure washers, because in the new parlor, I want to put a pressure washing hose onto it, so we can put it into the parlor so it's easy to wash with a small handle. So I'm going to look at a hot one as well, so we can hook it into everything. I'm going to copy Richard from Sisters and Wellies and hook it around everywhere, but I have no idea where to start. That is the problem. So Matt was just showing me, this is exactly what I kind of want. Quick release, in and out. Oh God, can't do that one-handed. Can Matt do it? Let's go, it's a lot better than me. Hello, you're nice right. to meet you. I'll watch you all the time. Thank you very much. This pressure washer has got it, so it's got the tap on it, so we can shut it off and open it, and then send wires everywhere. So we can put this on the wall. That's a good idea. It might be on get, somewhere. Not get my GoPro in it. That's a good idea, I like that. So I can stick in the wall and then we can put pipes everywhere. Hard wide pipes around the building. So this is a loading bay. So each loading bay has its own box from the uh, oh god and then we do yeah, from the speed. pressure washers that's pressure washers. Yeah. This, could, yeah. this could be amazing so we, what i want to do is wash the parlor but then i have a tap so i can wash kit like tractors and stuff yes. at the same time so yeah. as an upgrade from there right. you know what i suggested was was actually an auto hose yeah. reel yeah so we took them and we installed them on a swivel yeah, yeah, yeah. so they can actually swim around it's still off there as well this one's live as you can see yeah so they just under the tap what happens is guy will basically walk down this trailer with hot foam in the trailer, and then you just rinse that and then down. it reels itself in as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So it almost looks like a stars in your eyes. Yeah. Wow. Well, look at that. So that's very cool. So that was really good. That's something we definitely needed. You hook it on the wall, pipe it all the way through. And it works off electric as well, which is cool. Got me information. Hopefully, we'll hear from those big K2 Silas trailer, and it's got a pusher on it, so it keeps it really tight, so you can get more grass into it. New compactor push. So I reckon more and more people are going to be going like that because then you've got you can run less tractors. You fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, and then squeeze it, and then you put it into squeeze. Yeah, I think everyone's going to go that way. That is a big tanker. That's cool. So the bed moves on. Unimog. My uh, cousin is actually thinking of trading his, he's his tractor in, he's going to get another Unimog. He's got an orange one at the moment and he's going to go to another Unimog because it actually runs the chipper cheaper than his cheaper on petrol. So yeah, that's interesting. It's separators. Well, that's a diddy one. My dad loves the separator. They work really, really well. Take a lot out of the tower and we have a lot of slurry going in that tower. Another weeding machine. Very cool technology for veggies and fruit. The Lama Festival is kind of finished a little bit, but Jeremy booked into me yesterday. I was meant to meet him in his stand, but I didn't meet him there. But Jeremy does an amazing thing called Forces Farming. What is it? Thanks, Tom. Forces Farming is the connection between the armed forces and agriculture. So basically helping people that want to get into agriculture, yep. get into agricultural jobs, bring, yeah. bring new skills, bring new people. Yeah, and, from uh, ex-force ex people or from ex, anyone? Those from, the armor, from the armed forces at the moment, but anyone that wants to get in can pretty much come through the process and yep. apply the same principles, the same structure, and we'll get them into some sort of job. So. So if you're looking for some staff and need some hardworking staff because they are all mega hardworking or if you're from the forces and you don't know what to do when you come out yeah speak to jeremy jeremy is forces farming go check them out um, i'll even put the link below so go find them cheers bro. great thing and like the last llama everyone is shutting up and we're just finishing we're just catching up to a little chat with caleb which was nice and uh finish up with keenan i was gonna just chat to the keenan guys just to see if they saw my video go live pretty cool oh, i'm going up god this is a bit keen isn't it Look at the amount of knives in there. Wow. And that's a tub. So when we were talking about tubs, and obviously we looked at that. Oh God. We looked at that other tub over there. Twin augers. And they go even bigger now, you go triple augers. Unreal, innit? They just take a bit more power. So that is New Holland's methane tractor. It's got a tank in the front. I actually drive it on the Fast Farmers. Good bit of kit. 
it's been everywhere this thing. What a two days. Big thank you to everyone at Cramp for coming to say hello. Big thank you to everyone who came for a photo and just said hello actually means the world to us. It's amazing, obviously we video ourselves on the farm and then when people come say hello, it's, it, it, it's very, very cool. Didn't really go shopping as much as we have done in previous years, just because we don't really have the money and I don't really know what to upgrade, to be honest. And uh, we're getting that grass harrows. We're just uh, talking to the suppliers who have done things with us in the past. Yeah, catching um, up really. Looking, yeah, and possibly when upgrades are available, we'll have a look at them and move them on. Yeah, it's that cycle of trading things in a little bit earlier. Maybe, I don't know. Really nice meeting Johan for the first time. All the best. Your car's here, Dad. Hello. Hope you had a good day and we'll see you in the next Hello. one. Bye. I'm just Hello. finishing it. Look who it is. I never, never found you again. Hi, oh, what have you got? What are your jackets? Oh, we've got bobcat, bobcat. matching bobcat jackets. You love them. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing. 